Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla surges past yet another global sales milestone. Tesla makes way for improvements at space-confined Fremont factory. Tesla to ship new Model Y offering in Canada from China, report claims. And, Tesla brings back regenerative braking options on its electric cars. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has finally surpassed 4 million cumulative sales globally and is on track to achieve its next sales milestone, faster than ever anticipated. As evidenced by recent comments from Elon Musk, Tesla has come to define itself by its mission, helping the world achieve a sustainable electrified economy as quickly as possible, even occasionally coming at the detriment of its profits. With this relentless pursuit, its sales volumes have exploded in recent years, and now, according to new data from Clintechnica, Tesla has surpassed 4 million cumulative sales globally. Tesla didn't publish its newest sales milestone, but Clintechnica found it, as they assembled data from the company's previous production and delivery reports. But perhaps more surprising than the 4 million vehicle milestone is the exponential rate the company has grown, especially over the past three years, despite the challenges imposed by COVID and a massive chip shortage that continues to rock many major automakers. As noted in Clintechnica's report, Tesla sales have increased dramatically for 11 of the past 12 quarters, with only one quarter being a decline from the previous, the beginning of the COVID pandemic. Looking at more model-specific data, it should be no surprise that the Model 3 and Model Y remain the company's primary sales movers. Strangely, the Model Y has quickly become the top vehicle in sales growth. Model 3, on the other hand, has seen more linear and consistent growth since its introduction. This phenomenon comes as the Model Y is slowly overtaking its smaller sibling in sales in many top markets, most recently including Europe and China. Looking forward, if Tesla can continue its incredibly aggressive 50% production growth year over year, it is poised to become one of the largest automakers on the planet within only a few years. However, this won't be without challenges. Tesla is now facing more price competition than ever, particularly in top markets like China and the United States. And while it has been able to fend off competitors with price cuts and plans to continue to do so, it remains unclear how long this strategy can continue. Moving to the next update, Tesla makes way for improvements at space-confined Fremont factory. Tesla is making way for improvements and potentially new manufacturing space at the space-confined Fremont factory, new filings reveal. Tesla submitted numerous filings over the past week that hinted toward factory improvements in the way of new tooling installments. Still, there have also been indications that the automaker is making room for other projects on the second floor where its battery manufacturing projects occur. Both filings from April 21 describe different projects that Tesla is performing at Fremont. The company filed for a tool installation on the first floor, where vehicle assembly occurs. Tesla filed to install new electrical receptacles on the first floor. Additionally, the Fremont factory is undergoing some rejuvenation regarding where things are located. Tesla is moving its industrial vehicles and chargers to another location, looking to make more room on the second floor. This filing is listed as equipment space moves. Last year, Tesla Roddy revealed battery pack manufacturing was taking place on that floor, and with the project expanding, Tesla could be looking for additional room. They revealed that Tesla was manufacturing Cybertruck battery packs on the Fremont factory's second floor. It is unclear if this is the only place Tesla is manufacturing Cybertruck packs. However, with the Cybertruck moving closer to production, Tesla could need the additional room for pack manufacturing, as they will be shipped to Texas, where the all-electric pickup is being produced. Moving to the next update, Tesla to ship new Model Y offering in Canada from China, report claims. After Tesla started offering the Model Y rear-wheel drive to Canadian drivers late last week, it has been revealed that the vehicle will come from the company's factory in Shanghai, China, one report claims. 
According to people with knowledge of the plan and a production memo seen by Reuters, Tesla will bring the Shanghai-built Model Y rear-wheel drive to Canada. Tesla has not confirmed the report, and there are still questions in the air, as CEO Elon Musk said, reports claiming the company would ship vehicles from China to North America were false. After Tesla started offering the vehicle in Canada late last week, there was speculation over where the configuration of the all-electric crossover would be built. Tesla builds the Model Y in four locations, Fremont, Austin, Berlin, and Shanghai. However, the rear-wheel drive Model Y that Tesla is offering online to Canadians is a special case, as its low-range ratings have kept it off-menu from other markets, as Musk said that it did not meet the company's standard of excellence. Despite this, Tesla is offering the trim, which offers 244 miles of range in Canada, where cold temperatures are a relative certainty. Cold weather affects EV range, and Tesla has combated this with the heat pump, which it first offered in the Model Y in 2020, when the car was initially produced. The lower range ratings can be attributed to the lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries that Tesla will use in the vehicle. Tesla is offering the vehicle for $59,990, but owners can receive an immediate $5,000 discount through the Federal ISEV program, which helps diminish a portion of the higher upfront purchase costs of a sustainable vehicle. Delivery estimates are slotted for between May and July 2023. As previously mentioned, the Model Y is manufactured in several locations, and it was unclear whether Tesla would roll out the Model Y rear-wheel drive from another market or build it in North America and ship it across the border from the US. Tesla used the LFP battery cells in the Model 3 to combat demand for the standard range plus version of the vehicle in mid-2021. While it offers a lower range and is more sensitive to temperatures, LFP cells have a life cycle that is higher than others and can be charged to 100%, which is something other cells do not necessarily prefer. Moving to the last update, Tesla brings back regenerative braking options on its electric cars. Tesla is releasing a new software update that brings back regenerative braking options for its electric cars. Tesla previously allowed drivers to adjust the strength of the regenerative braking, which is one of the coolest features of electric vehicles. Instead of using a traditional braking system, an EV's electric motor can reverse power to slow down the vehicle, all the while recuperating the energy and deceleration. This feature can even enable one-pedal driving, since other than in emergency situations, you won't need to touch the brake pedal and activate the regular brakes. The feature became such an important aspect of driving an electric vehicle that Tesla decided to eliminate the adjustable regenerative braking strength in 2020, instead locking all drivers into the strongest setting. This forces drivers to drive the automaker's electric cars in the most efficient way possible. But now, Tesla is bringing back the option in a new software upgrade, which the company is starting to push to its fleet. With the update, the automaker is again offering standard and low settings. Tesla owners can find the newly returning options under controls, pedals and steering, regenerative braking. While we think people should be driving on standard, the vast majority of the time, we also like having options. Some drivers argue that it's safer to use a lower regenerative braking setting when driving in the snow or other non-ideal conditions. Others also believe that a lower setting offers an option that drivers who are new to electric cars can use to ease their way into using regenerative braking. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.